In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open a HEIC file on a Chromebook. So, a HEIC file is a type of file that's used on an iPhone usually. So, if you were to take a photo on an iPhone, it would that picture would be an HEIC file instead of a JPEG. But a lot of other devices like Chromebooks actually can't open HEIC files. So to fix that, normally if you send a photo from an iPhone through emails or through a certain messaging app and things like that, the image will often automatically convert into a JPEG right before it sends so that then anyone who receives it on any device will be able to open it. But there are certain ways of sending a picture from an iPhone to a Chromebook like uploading it to Google Drive and sharing it that way, or certain other messaging apps, where if you do that, the HEIC file will actually not be converted into a JPEG, and it will stay as a HEIC file, and then you'll end up with a HEIC file on your Chromebook that you can't open. But don't worry, there is actually a reasonably easy way to open HEIC files on a Chromebook. So in this video, Timmy's going to show you how. So when you're on your Chromebook, you'll see here in the Files app, Timmy has Timmy's HEIC file right here. And there's no preview on of it. And if you double click on it, it'll say it's not supported and can't be opened. But if you just upload this HEIC file to Google Photos, you will be able to view it, and you'll even be able to download it from Google Photos as a JPEG if you want to. And then you'll have a file you can use on your Chromebook. So to do that, you just need to go into Google Chrome and go to photos.google.com. And now once you're here, if you've used Google Photos before and you have photos on Google Photos, you should see all your photos here. But if you've never used Google Photos before, you'll probably see some sort of welcome message and you'll just need to get through that, however that's done. And once you're in here now, you'll just need to click on Upload in the top right hand corner and then click From Computer. And now the Files app will pop up and you'll just need to select your HEIC file. So this is Timmy's right here. It's in the downloads folder, but if your file was somewhere else, you could just click on somewhere else in this menu and find your file. And then once you've found your HEIC file, just double click on it to upload it to Google Photos. And you'll see the progress down in the corner here. It should be pretty quick. And now it's done. But it seems that when you upload photos to Google Photos like this, the photo doesn't actually appear right away. So what Timmy finds is you have to come up here and click refresh after the photo is uploaded. And now you'll see the photo is here. So this is the HEIC file. And as you can see, we can now see it. And if you click on it, you'll be able to see it a bit bigger. So that's really cool. And if all you wanted to do with the HEIC file Let's just look at it this one time and see what's in the picture. You're done because you can see it now. But if you want to open it all the time regularly in the future, or you want to maybe do something else with it on your Chromebook, you can now download this image as a JPEG and then it will be just like any other JPEG on your Chromebook. So you'll be able to do whatever you want with it. So to do that, when you've opened your image here, just come up to the three dots in the top right hand corner and click on that. And then just click on download. And now it will download a JPEG version of your HEIC file. And if we open up the files app, you'll see you'll now have the HEIC file, which you still can't open, but you also have a JPEG, which is the same image but in a format that you can open. So now you can double click on the JPEG if you want to open it like that, and you can edit it and do whatever you want with it there, and you can send it to people, 
and do whatever you want with it. And once you've done this, you might even want to delete the HEIC file, because you've got the image here as a JPEG, you don't really need the HEIC file anymore, so if you want, you can click on it like that, and click on the delete button, and click on delete, and now the HEIC file is completely gone, and you just have your JPEG. So, that's really cool, and that's all there is to it, so hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below, and Tamil see you in the next video.